Now in this last part of the video on implementation shortfall, we'll look at the scenario where we actually buy shares on the day that we put in the order and also we bought shares on the following day before we cancelled the order. Now for again for Jean's case on the XYZ shares, this time around Scott purchased 4,000 shares at 29.68 on Tuesday when Jean put in the order and on the very next day on Wednesday, Scott bought another 3,500 shares at 30.1 before he cancelled uh, the remaining orders of 2,500 shares at the price of 31.20. Now, when you are calculating the implementation shortfall, first of all, we'll calculate the paper gain. So the paper gain here would be the 10,000 shares that Jane wants to buy, and the cancellation price is 31.20 minus the decision price of 29.60. So the paper gain here on the portfolio will be 16,000 euros. Now, then the actual paper gain so the actual gain on the portfolio would then comprise of the 4,000 shares bought on Tuesday. So the cancellation price is 31.20 minus the purchase price of 29.68. Then there's also the 3,500 shares bought on Wednesday. The cancellation price is 31.20 minus the purchase price of 30.1. And then we have to minus the total commission. So we bought a total of uh, 7,500 shares and each has a commission of two cents. So if we calculate this, we have uh, 4,000 times 31.20 minus 29.68. So there's a gain of uh, 6,080 on this. And then for the next tranche, there's 3,850. Okay, and lastly, the commission will be 150. So in total, your actual gain is 9,780 euros. Okay, so, the so to calculate the implementation shortfall, we'll take the paper gain, which is 16,000, minus the actual gain, which is 9,780. So that's 6,000. 220 okay and if you want to convert this to basis points uh, we'll take we'll calculate the initial portfolio value or the initial paper value of the portfolio so that will be 10,000 shares multiplied by 2960 so this will be 296,000 so your implementation shortfall will be 6220 over 296,000 so that will be equals to 210.14 basis points. Now again, let's calculate the individual components and then we'll reconcile back to this. Right, again, we'll start by drawing out the timeline and then we'll calculate the individual components. So here on Monday, okay, uh, the price of XYZ shares closed, okay, at 28.50. And then the next day on Tuesday, so Jin put in the order. So you put in the buy order for 10,000 shares at the decision price of 29.60. Now after that, Jin managed to buy. So or Scott, rather Scott managed to buy 4,000 shares at a price of 29.68. And then after that, the price closed on at the end of Tuesday. There's a, it closed at 30. And then on the very next day, Scott managed to buy another 3,500 shares at 30.1 before the order was cancelled at 31.20. Right, so now we have to calculate uh, the delay cost, the realized loss, the commission and fees, and also the mistrade opportunity cost. Now for the commission and fees, this is uh, again rather straightforward. We'll just have to calculate the total fee, which is uh, on the 7,500 shares. We bought 4,000 and 3,005 here. So the total shares is 7,005 times 2 cents. So that's 150 euros each. And if you take 150 over the initial paper portfolio value of 296,000, and we convert that to basis points, so that's about 5.5. 0, 07 basis points. Okay, so this is a quick one. Then part two is the realized loss. 
Now be careful here, we have to calculate the realized loss for two components. So uh, for the 4,000 shares that we bought on Tuesday, okay, uh, we put in the, the decision price was 29.60 but we bought at 29.68. So the realized loss for these 4,000 shares is 29.68 minus 29.6. So that's equals to 320. And then for the 3,500 shares that we bought on Wednesday, okay, the previous day's close was 30. Okay, so for these shares, there is a delay cost. So this uh, realized loss is 3,005 times 30.1, uh, uh, which is the execution price, okay, minus the previous day's close, which is 30. Okay, so that's 30.1 is 350. Okay, so in total, your realized loss here is 670 so in basis point 670 divided by 296,000 that will be 22.64 basis points and then I will move on to delay cost so the delay here only happens on the 3,500 shares which we only bought on Wednesday so there's no delay for 4,000 because we managed to buy on the same day that we put in the order. So for these 3,500 shares, there was a delay from the time we put in the order, which is at 29.60, to the time that uh, we closed on Tuesday, that's 30. Okay, so the delay cost here is 30 minus 29.6 times 3,005, so that's 1,004 euros. And uh, we convert that to basis points, so that's divided by 296,000. So that's equals to 47.3 basis points. Okay, and lastly, we calculate uh, the missed trade opportunity cost. So that only happens on the 2,500 shares that we did not manage to buy. Okay, and the uh, total cost here will be from the cancellation price. Okay, all the way back to the decision price, which is 29.60. So that comes up to 4,000 euros. Okay, and in basis points, that's uh, 4,000 divided by 296,000. So that will be equals to 135.14 basis points. Now let's uh, sum up all this and tie this, reconcile this back to our, our implementation shortfall. So that's uh, 5.07 plus 22.64 plus 47.3 plus 135.14. So that will give us a total of... So this is equals to 210.15 basis points and this is our implementation shortfall and if we compare this back to the previous part okay so which is about 210.14 basis points slight rounding error there so that's how we uh, calculate the individual components so hopefully through all the three parts of the videos uh, you have uh, cleared out any uh, confusion you have on the implementation shortfall